hope y'all want all. Nine. Welcome. Welcome. It's about time you guys, you know, came to the house here and put me on TV. Uh, I don't know what's been keeping you this long. Uh, my, my luscious abs have been here waiting for you and the ladies. It evolved out of uh, when Mike got his first computer um, and he didn't know Windows very well and I was like a year or two ahead of him. And, uh, and so I went through uh, one time visiting him at college and changed all the system sounds. And so I used a little system microphone to, uh, to make this voice. And it was supposed to sound like this little Japanese girl. And so like his mail, the, like when he got mail, I'd go like, it's best mail for you. In January of 2000 is when we put the website up and uh, have like a couple cartoons and a couple games. We're basically just doing it as a hobby, just to like learn Flash and show our friends, and we weren't really set out to, you know, to be an internet whatever, you know, cartoon or phenomenon or whatever. If you came over here and hung out with me and Mike while we're working uh, for a couple days, you'd just be like, "What are you? What do you guys do? How do you? You're making money at this? What are you doing?" So it's um, it's pretty awesome. So this is uh, Stinko Man, and he's just been shot in the eye with a pea shooter <laughs> by Old Timey Homestar. And so this is just a movie clip. Uh, two frames, one like that and one like that, where he's showing, speed. yeah, where it's only two frames. <laughs> and then there's Homestar, who is supposed to be the good athlete, and he could just, I guess maybe, I don't know, since he's just Homestar Runner, and Runner is in his name. It's like, well, what does this guy need his arms for? He's just, he's wrong. <laughs> it's in his name. You know what he does. <laughs> My favorite character, there's a whole series, the whole series, all the characters also um, exist in the 1936 uh, era. Uh, they're black and white, and the characters look sort of like how Mickey Mouse looked different uh, back then. Um, so they look sort of skewed from the way they look now. And so the old-timey home star is probably my favorite character. You told me there would be ladies here when you, you came to my house, and there's, there's no ladies. So if you could send a truckload of ladies my way, that would be much appreciated. I'm the voice of Martha Pam, and occasionally I get to give a little bit of creative contribution. I read on a message board, and that's when I stopped going to these message boards to sort of read what the fans were saying. Somebody said, Homestar Runner jumped the shark, and I was like, it's me and my brother making cartoons for the internet in our apartment. We haven't jumped the shark. <laughs> that just doesn't even apply. When Mars Pan and Homestar have a baby, then we've definitely jumped the shark. Like, I met this girl from, who I guess was sort of a fan, and she thought that I was a fat hippie chick. She was surprised. I was as slim as I am. <laughs> I'm joking. We're Nintendo. Nintendo men all the way. Even to this day? Oh, yeah. Got a GameCube over there with the, the game, game Boy adapter on it and everything. So we're, you know, as long as they're making Zelda games and Metroid and Mario games, I'm going to be buying them. There was this one time when I hooked up my lawnmower to my Nintendo. And after that, I got the high score every time. Melissa was way into Animal Crossing when it came out. I don't know if you heard that. That was the game where you, like, it's basically... the. My friend calls it video crack because it's one of those games where you start living in this a village of animals as this thing, and you just really just you just kind of live and like buy stuff and decorate your house, and so you pl have to play it every day. And a game like Galaga, you can play for hours and hours and hours, and it's like, and you want to play it for hours. You know, you don't need cinema scenes, and you don't need like you know polygonal big breasts and stuff bouncing around. And so we. Uh, we decided that that's, those are the kind of games we wanted to sort of start to put into the site more and more. So Vid Electrics, a big video game company. We'd like to uh, get some ideas for that. Yeah, see, so there's the people that brought you Trogdor. Uh, they brought you uh, the Awesome Cross game, which is where you're the cheat in a tire, jumping over Chinese food and collecting wads of cash. <laughs> Good work, Thanks, camera guy. Yeah. I gotta beat the G4 guy. I need to loosen out more. Too stiff. Now stiffen in. You loosed out too much, you got stiff in. Oh, too stiff. Oh, oh you're in there. Guys, thank you very much. This is a guy who knows when to stiffen in. <laughs> and when to loosen out. We have uh, stuck on our we TiVo it every day and uh, a couple times a day. So we, we grew up watching Starcade, and so that was the first thing that we, we found out when we got G4 on our cable. We were like, whoa, this network plays Starcade. Oh, we had Pulse is our other favorite. We do TiVo Pulse. We watch it every day, uh, every day, before we say our prayers. Sorry. <laughs> Just up to the system, 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 just up to